Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about simplifying complex fractions. This is an exercise in Khan Academy related to uh, essentially many, many different types of algebraic chapters that you could see in any of your courses. This particular one is designed for advanced topics class uh, in chapter 6. So let's go ahead and get started. So which expression is equivalent to the following complex fraction? So we have a negative a over a negative b divided by c over d. At, notice how I said that. I said divided by instead of like, I don't know, a fraction. A lot of people get tripped up because they don't see that it's a fraction over a fraction. Okay, and they just see a lot of lines and then they get confused and then they guess because they're not sure which one. Okay, so anytime you see what looks like three fraction bars, notice or note that you're probably going to have one fraction divided by another fraction. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this so it looks a little bit more clean and then you might be able to see the answer a little bit more clearly. So I'm going to write it as negative a over negative b and keep in mind that a fraction is the same thing as divide. A lot of times I get asked, oh Mr. West, where is the fraction button on my calculator and it's the divide divide is the same thing as a fraction so with that being said i'm going to rewrite this little line this fraction bar as divide c over d now keep change flip rules bop it twist it pull it we're going to change it to negative a over negative b times keep change flip d over c Okay, so keep change flip, we change it from, we keep the, kept the first fraction the same, we changed the divide to multiply, and we changed, we flipped the fraction to its reciprocal, because dividing is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. Now, one thing you should note is if you have a negative divided by a negative, that's the same thing as a positive. So let's go ahead and change it further, and then we can just do top times the top, bottom times the bottom. Okay, there's no cross multiplying here. That's another common mistake. Cross multiplying is only when there's an equal sign separating the two fractions, okay? So don't, don't do that, please, okay? So now we just need to look which one of these uh, expresses it in the same way we just decided here. Um, oh, and we actually simplified it a lot further because we wrote this here, which is that answer there. So it looks like A is gonna be our answer. What a great sound. Okay, let's look at this one now. Very similar process, but this time we only have two fractions. Okay, uh, and now we need to decide, okay, what, what are our fractions? So we can say our fraction is x, and technically that is a fraction. We could put it over one if we want, but let's just leave it as x, divided by four over seven. So we can keep change flip here and change it to x, change to multiply, and flip to the reciprocal, 7 over 4. So let's go ahead and see which one of these options. It looks like it's A again. Let's check our answer. There we go. Go on to the next question. Okay. Uh, Wilson tried to evaluate an expression step by step. We should probably look at all the steps. Find Wilson's mistake. Maybe he didn't make a mistake, so let's find out. So in the first step, the first thing... Ooh, Houston, we have a problem. The first thing he did is he put this fraction on the bottom on the top. You're not supposed to do that. If we were to rewrite this thing, it would be 3 over negative 2 divided by uh, 9 over negative 4. So I'm not sure why you'd move that to the front. That'd be like saying, oh, if I write 3 minus 10, that's the same thing as 10 minus 3. Those are not the same people. You cannot do that. So make sure you don't do this either. Okay, so it looks like right in step one, he messed up. He didn't get very far. Sorry, Wilson. Maybe next time. Let's just do one more, see if this will help you out. Which expression is equivalent to the following complex fraction? We have a negative w over x divided by y over negative seven. 
So we need to have the w over x needs to be the same. You're not flipping the w over x, okay? That's not what that is. And then you have, if, let me just go ahead and rewrite it for you. Negative w over x. Now, whenever I have a negative out in front, I like to put it in the top. It makes it a lot easier to multiply, divide, add, everything, okay? So make sure you pick a side if you have that negative out in front, okay? So then we have negative divided by y over negative z. And I think it just wants this to identify. Negative w over x divided by, it doesn't look like any of these. None of those are correct. And that's correct, okay? Hope this was a good intro into complex fraction. We're definitely going to do another video called nested fractions, which is a little bit more difficult. So see you next time.